So I have a very unique practice in that I only perform uh, surgery for those patients who have uh, complex spinal deformities. Spinal deformities include things such as scoliosis or curvatures of the spine, uh, kyphosis or hunchback of the spine, uh, or major spinal imbalances. So these are often uh, all-day surgeries, uh, sometimes even uh, two- or three-day surgeries, uh, depending on the complexity of the situation and what's involved in the care. I think playing a lot of chess in my youth uh, prepared me for that uh, uh, ability to concentrate and focus for hours at a time, but also anticipate, come up with the next move, but have the next several moves in your mind already planned and alternative moves depending on how the situations uh, arise. So I think it was great training uh, from the mental aspect of becoming a, uh, a spinal surgeon. I first discovered that I wanted to become a spinal surgeon uh, way back when I was a medical student in Chicago in the 1980s. I rotated on the service of a very famous spinal surgeon at Rush uh, University Medical Center and really was enamored by the amazing surgeries that were being done and how well the patients were doing. And then when I started my orthopedic surgery residency, uh, in St. Louis at Washington University. So I had a very uh, unique opportunity uh, in the early part of my career in that I actually um, was operating five uh, days a week, which is extremely unusual. What I do as a spinal deformity uh, surgeon is very technical and in involves a lot of technical maneuvers. And um, uh, I, I, obviously, the, like any craft, uh, the more you perform with that craft, uh, the better you get. Care of spine patients is extremely important, both from the non-operative perspective and the operative perspective. And New York Presbyterian had the foresight uh, over eight years ago to really set up a, a program of both non-operative and operative uh, experts to come together to form a top-notch spine program. And so obviously medicine uh, doesn't stand still. We have to keep moving forward. So the planning process begins uh, far in advance of the surgery. Um, often months, often up to six months, uh, through a variety of um, uh, evaluations of uh, uh, radiographic and radiologic uh, tests that need to be performed, the creation of 3D printed models that helps uh, really uh, uh, elucidate very clearly the uh, anatomy and pathoanatomy involved in their condition. Uh, you know, pathoanatomy is so critical to uh, my f specialty of treating these patients with severe deformity, that it's logical that having an anatomic description that you can analyze ahead of time and have access to during surgery will help you become a better surgeon and uh, perform more uh, uh, safe and expert surgery. One of the uh, patients who left a uh, very profound impact on me actually came uh, from Europe, uh, and I actually have her model here. Um, she had a very, very severe uh, scoliosis. She never had surgery before, but she had seen, she told me, over 15 surgeons who told her that really surgery was too risky for her. And one of the uh, issues that she had, besides having a severe scoliosis, as you can see from the model, was that uh, she had a clinical myelopathy, which is basically a, a, a dysfunction of the spinal cord, which happens in these severe cases where the spinal cord Again, which is basically going down the center of the severely deformed spinal column, is uh, very tight and, uh, and basically becomes uh, malfunctional because of that. So whenever we do surgery on a scoliosis like this with an unhealthy spinal cord, the risk of paralysis is markedly increased. Fortunately, she trusted uh, that our team could take care of her and she ended up having the, the vertebral column resection or BCR surgery here very successfully. Her spinal cord worked uh, normally uh, within a week after surgery. To be able to restore someone's health uh, with, with, who, who come in with such uh, debilitating conditions is extremely gratifying and satisfying and really why we work so hard to do this on a daily basis and is giving me the most gratitude in my professional career about, of anything that I've ever achieved. The Lanky classification system of scoliosis allowed us a common uh, nomenclature of how we describe the, the various scoliosis conditions and thus we can communicate amongst each other uh, the, the types of uh, pathology that we see and the types of surgery that we propose. And also allows us to analyze and research the types of surgeries that we do to see which ones are the best for the conditions that uh, we're seeing. But in the 25 years or so that the lanky classification system that has been in use, it's still in use around the world. And it really hasn't been modified, uh, which is kind of amazing, and, but really speaks to the, I think, the value of it, that it's uh, not only valuable to myself, but 
uh, the thousands of other surgeons around the world who use it on a daily basis to organize and classify their, their patients. There are literally thousands of steps that occur to safely correct uh, a patient's spinal deformity. So one of my goals is to use uh, uh, AI in creating uh, technical pathways of performing these type of surgeries that can be universally adopted uh, by senior surgeons like myself that have been doing this for a long time. We're giving surgeons information that will lead to more successful surgical results. So it's obviously a great advance in our field that will uh, make surgery safer for these patients. So I've been fortunate to train 128 spinal surgery fellows in my career. I think that's the largest number of fellows trained in, in, in the history of, of spine surgery. And basically every day, not only am I doing surgery on my patient, but they're doing surgery on 128 of their patients and using some of the knowledge that I've been able to uh, provide to them to make surgery uh, outcomes, surgical outcomes uh, better in their patients. So what more satisfaction you can get than, than basically transferring your knowledge into others to make them make you good use of that. Mm -hmm.